So I got this uh, newer Q3 uh, flash, and it's a really good one. The problem is without diffuser, is uh, the light is very powerful. So I use this uh, newer ST101 to connect, uh, convert to balance mount, and then you can attach a newer diffuser in my case. Uh, and now I should be able to get a, a nicer and soft light. I will show you one picture with and without the diffuser. So uh, I put it upside down, but it does not matter. First thing I did when I took it out of the box was uh, upgrade the firmware in the newer website. Uh, and now I'm going to trigger with my Canon and my uh, newer uh, remote trigger. So let's give it a try. So this is the way I, I mounted the, the, the flash here. Basically, again, just just get this uh, newer SD101 and you are going to be able to adjust here. And that's it. You want to insert and there. Now this newer also works if you have a rounded uh, uh, flash, just remove this. On my case, I have the flat one, so I insert like this, and that's it. This one has here this uh, tab that is going to prevent you to go deeper than you should. And tight. You don't have to tight a lot. Because at the end, just are only holding the flash. This is the one that makes the force for the uh, actually light stand. And this is the part that is holding the diffuser, not your flash. So this is my Canon. And uh, I'm using right now a 5D Mark II, but also works with the any Canon camera, the, all the ones I have. And this is the remote trigger. This one, in the version I got, is not included. So you need to buy it uh, separate. I will leave the link to the Amazon item below. But this is the way I'm triggering. I'm using TTL only, right, uh, through the lens, which is one of the more basic ways to Synchronize. Great flash, good battery light, functional, portable, recommended.